So let's get to, let's close out here. Um, Talon, anything you want to add there, bro? Sorry, I'm trying to pull you in. <laughs> no good, bro. Let's go. <laughs> hey, man, bro. You're awesome. All right. So Matthew chapter six. Let's see here. Let's close it on out. Matthew chapter six, verse 33. You remember the scripture? I'm sure you do, Tapello. Let's read it. Matthew 6, 33. It says, but seek sec. Sorry, sorry. I'm not messing with you anymore. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. And all these things will be given to you as well. Wow, pretty cool, huh? So when it says seek first God's kingdom, what does that mean to you now? <sighs> wow. Um, yeah, I, I got to seek. I, I can't. I, I got to seek God's church. I got to seek it with all my heart. I got I to gotta put it first in my schedule. You know what I mean? Like, like I'm doing with my quiet times. But I, I got to make sure I don't, you know, miss church, like Sunday services, midweeks, you know, the Bible talk we have. I, I um, yeah, I get it. I get it. So, so what if your employer says, you know what, man, I will give you double your pay if you just come in during Sundays mornings. What does that mean? Would you do it? <sighs> I could use the money, but to be honest, uh, my soul's probably worth a lot more. <laughs> exactly right. Don't, don't let Satan, you know, sell you out for just some money. You know what I mean? And that's what he does. You know, he'll, he'll, try to, he'll try to make you sell out for getting more money on Sunday morning by working then so you miss church or miss midweek or whatever else. He, he'll find ways to make you become a sellout. You know, you got to be a man of integrity. You know, you can't serve God and money. And my, I, like I told you before, when I gave up that internship, like I knew Satan was trying to woo me and I wouldn't let him do it. And that's why I am the man I am today. I think those choices you make, DePello, really determine the man you are. Like one choice could determine the man you are, right? You know, it's like you decide to be immoral with some girl. You get her pregnant, changes your life just like that. You decide to, you know, take a job to pull you away from the kingdom, change your life, just like that. That, that, that these are the decisions that we have to, we have to be consistently righteous. It's not a one-time thing. It's not an emotional experience. It's a consistent daily devotion, just like these disciples. Is that something you're ready to do? Yeah, I am. I am because I've never seen this before. I, I, I. And it's right there. It's like, it's clear, you know? And so, um, thanks. <laughs> thanks a lot. Like, I'm just, this is crazy. I need to get baptized, man. So when are you going to baptize me here? Well, there, there, there is a study we're going to do. It's called light and darkness. We're going to break it on down for you about, because we need to talk about sin. I want to make sure you understand what sin is um, and, and why baptism is necessary. You know, I want to make sure you have a full grasp of it. Okay. So when, when can we do this? Uh, well, when, when do you want to meet again? I'll meet tomorrow. Let's go. Okay. That's what's up. All right. Well, let's go. Talani, you ready to run? You, you want to run? You want to run with Tapel? Yeah, man. Come on. Man, I'm playing games here. This, this is, this is, this is serious. Like I gotta get right. If I'm in the darkness, I'm going to hell. This is not a game. And so, okay. That's what's up, Tapello. Actually, I'm glad you have that heart. Cause if you didn't have that heart after this study, then you probably didn't get it. So awesome, man. Proud of you. Proud of you. So now you got it. That is a kingdom study. So the challenge, come out to everything, man. Come out to everything. Just take a look at us and see, like, are we really living it? Are we the kingdom of God? We're going to look at you and you're going to look at us, right? But um, as I said, I'm really grateful that, uh, that you know, you've allowed the scriptures to really guide you. And um, yeah, man, if Jesus delayed going to heaven for the kingdom, that's the kind of conviction we need to have to really put it first in our life. So why don't we close that with a prayer? Okay. Awesome.